They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do, do, do you have it? Do, 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 do you have it? From all over the world to the extreme arena for a shot at the world title. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here today with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, it's time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo. Hello there, Mike. Here's a look at the standings. With a win today, Germany or Team UK can pull within one gold of Mexico. Who will take it? Well, let's get underway and find out. And first up, we got a little water polo, global gut style, way above the pool. In Sky Ball, we give you a little bionic bungee so no water in the world can hold you down. That's right. You grab a ball, you soar, you fake right, you shoot, you score, mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a ball and throw it into the goal across from them. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so our players trying to get a little bouncing right off the top. Psycho scores. As does Jans from Germany. That's Rosa. Trying to get a ball right there. Now players, in this event, the things to remember, endurance, control, and accuracy. Remember, you're playing this game for 60 seconds, so you really got to have your breath control down so you don't wear yourself out before the final seconds. Rosa going up high and just bouncing off, showing where the accuracy comes into play in this event. And again, our players look to be shooting a little bit low or high, and you see how worn out right there. Jens is already worn out from jumping up and down. Rosa is not getting a good enough bounce off of the ground. And Christopher, there's the ball right there, and in. So Psycho Bait, all the way from the United Kingdom, looks to have about four right now. Now that is unofficial, remember, as Jens coming in low. And Rosa going up for another one and just off the bottom. As the horn sounds, we'll have the judge tally the scores. We'll give him the mo and we'll get the official mo. In first place, Christopher scoring five goals. In second place, Beatrice scoring two. In third place, Jens scoring one. And so Beatrice getting a shot off half the battle. Accuracy important. She bounced it right off the corner of the goal. Ended up with the second place finish. And we talked about control. Look at this form. The shot off perfect form right into the goal. First place points. Let's go and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Here it is, Mike. First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Christopher from the UK. In second place with 200 points, Beatrice from Spain. In third place with 100 points, Jens from Germany. Okay, folks, remember the player with the most points at the end of all of our events in the winter, and our player is about to face a ferocious course in basic training. But now, let's meet a German great who's going for the gold. Jens, the catcher, spill your guts. My name is Jens Bullis, and I'm from Emden, Germany. I like to swim, play soccer, and skateboard with my friends. My favorite things about skateboarding are doing tricks and feeling the speed. I'm here at Global Guts because I like the game, and I'm going to enjoy the competition. train a global army of guts athletes. Very simple. We take them to our gym for a brand new basic training. First, our players will be jamming through the elastic jungle. After they get out of that, they'll be firing their way up the wall climb. At the tippity top, they'll start marching across Monkey Bridge, trying to keep their balance as they get across. They're going to then fly down the slide for life. Slipping and sliding down that bing 
bang, through the tire crawl, tearing through the tire crawl, and then flying up the cargo net, hitting the pool slide, and then powering down into the pool for a finish. Mo. Players are timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so up first is Jens from Germany. Players need to remember in this event, quick start, speed, and fearlessness. And Jens' nickname is the catcher, and the other players are gonna have to play catch up because he will set the pace in this event. He did have a very good start, and now let's see if he can combine speed throughout the rest of the course to beat the clock and set the pace. Looks like Jens has a little Yen Fra, some yardage, extreme arena style. Making a move off the cargo net, a slip right there. He's gonna have to do some fancy footwork and slide down on his stomach into the pool. That'll stop the clock. As he shakes off the water, we'll go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Jens clocked in at 36.7 seconds, Mike. All right, so he is now our leader, and uh, let's see if he can hold on to that. Up next is Beatrice. On your mark, get set. All right, they call her the locomotive, and look at her power and her way through the elastic jungle. Going low and digging through that. She goes into this event in second place. She has 200 points, so if she can beat Jens's time, there will only be one other player, and that'll be Christopher to see if she can knock, he can knock that time off. So making her way across Monkey Bridge, a little unorthodox. But the locomotive is burning the mid-morning, midday, and midnight oil. Tearing it through. She's in a quest to take over first place points. As I said, she's gonna have to really have to hustle now, slowing down. Her endurance wavering at that portion on the cargo net. And that looks to be killing her on this time right there. She had a chance to take it, but really slowed down on the cargo net. That's going to hurt her. Let's go to Mo. Beatrice clocked in at 39.6 seconds, Mike. Okay, so she is now in second place. See her sticking her tongue out trying to get some fresh air. All right, Christopher's next. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Christopher, all the way from the UK to the EA Extreme Arena. He's in first place with three they call this guy Psycho. Psycho is taking a serious stab at first place here. He's, he's tearing up, up this field, man. Look at this guy. Through the tire crop, he's going to blow away all the other players' times by at least five or six seconds. If he can keep it up. Down the pool, looks like first place. Yeah, Psycho. Let's go to Mo. Christopher clocked in at 32.4 seconds, which puts Christopher in first place, Jens in second place, and Beatrice in third place. Folks, in all my years of guts, I gotta say the cargo net is one of the biggest challenges. A moving net ready to tangle your feet, and right there, there's some precious seconds. Coming back with the win, though, is Christopher. Psycho! First place points. Getting a little wet. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard now. Mo. Well, Christopher from the UK is still in first place with 600 points and tied in second place with 300 points each. The Arturis from Spain and Jens from Germany. Well, folks, two down, two to go, and surf is up when we come back. A little hang ten and a little scrumble. Global Guts Rugby, stick around. Welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids, and the world title is still up for grabs. But right now, it's time to get to know a little information on a sports sensation from the Spanish nation. Hey, locomotive, spill your guts! Hola, mi nombre es Beatriz. Hi, I'm Beatriz Mora from Madrid, Spain, and I want to say hello to all my family and friends. I like all kinds of sports, but I love classical dancing, which I've been doing for about eight years. I want to tell everyone that competing in Global Guts is an experience that I'll never forget. Imagine racing across the English Channel on a surfboard. Well, folks, in Hang 10, we're going to bombard our athletes with some big-time waves and some serious surgeon surf. Which one of these players is going to shred the most wicked waves? We're about to find out, but first, Mo. Mo! 
At the sound of my whistle, players will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. All right, up first is Yins. And this man is attacking that water. You see him holding on to his board, but he's not kicking his feet. He's going to have to make use of those legs. That's what he's got them for, to kick that water so he can get towards more buoys. In this event, the smart moves, coordination, fearlessness, and peripheral vision. But he has a decent amount on his right arm, but that might be weighing him down. He's going for those other two in the corner. You see, as time is running out, he makes the stretch. Will he get him? About the horn! Oh, so we'll go to Mo and get the official score for Jens. He was holding on to that board very well. Let's go to Mo. Jens collected seven buoys. Up next, Beatrice from Spain, and she's on the board. We'll see what she can do in this event. On your mark, get set. All right, and so Beatrice grabs the first one on her right hand, and she's got a second one. She's making use of a leg kick right there. In this event, as I said, fearlessness. You, the players cannot hesitate when those waves roll over you. You've got to continue on your quest to get as many buoys as you can in 30 seconds. And so as time runs out, it looks to be that she has a decent amount right now. She's making the final stretch, but she almost slipped off the board. She's leaning down to the front part of the board, and so the nose, and she's falling off the board right here. As time runs out, she continues to hold on to those buoys, but you saw the nose of the board was dipping down into the water, and she finally capsized. We'll see where the score is. Mo. Beatrice also collected seven buoys. All right, so keeping in tune with their tie score, our first two players tie with seven buoys. We'll see what Christopher can do. On your mark, get set. All right, and so Psycho, this man has been showing nothing but power and speed so far today. And we'll see what he can do nautical style. As he gets wet, he already looks to have two buoys, and he's making good motion around the pool. Now, when I talked about the peripheral vision, that is important because the buoys are spread out across the entire pool. After you get one, you just gotta make your way over the waves to the next one. So you see how much distance he has to go in four seconds. He looks to have about six. Will he get this seventh one right here? And stretching for the last one, he falls off. So I'm not sure what the official score was, but with four seconds left, he almost had to cross half of the pool to get that last buoy. We'll find out from Mo what the official score is. Mo. Christopher collected eight buoys, which puts him in first place. Beatrice and Jens tied in second place. We put him on a bungee. We put him through basic training. We put him in the pool. Talk about guts right here, Jens. You see him struggling for those buoys, but he came up with seven of them, tying for second place points that he shared with Beatrice. Now, coordination, I talked about it. She had, she was going for a final one, but she slipped off, capsizing there, losing first place points. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo! Well, Christopher from the UK remains in the lead with 900 points and tied in second place with 500 points each. Beatrice from Spain and Jens from Germany. Oh, yeah, they're, they're doing a little dancing. They're getting down. Well, folks, we have seen him surf, play water polo, and confront basic training. Now it is time to hear a little more about one of the greatest kid athletes in England. Hey, Psycho Babe, spill your guts! Hi, I'm Chris Bate from Derby in England with the UK team. Favorite sports footballers, or as the Americans say, soccer. Got a couple of medals I brought with me. It's my five-year loyalty award. Reebok Five Sides National Champions, the Finks Cup we won. A medal for playing for Derby Boys. My strategy to win is to be focused and determined. Now oh, time for a little Global Guts Rugby. We're calling it Scrumbo, folks. And ladies and gentlemen, you are pushing and pulling. You're mauling. You're crawling. Let's go to Mo. Hopefully you're scoring. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. Perfect game on the line for Christopher from the UK. They have 60 seconds to cover as much territory as they can. And there's Chris scoring one. Now our players in this event, quick decision, efficiency, power. Now you've got to have the power to push and pull your way to every loose ball because remember, your motion is affecting the other player's movements. As you move one way, the other players move the other way. And right there, that's Beatrice scoring two. And Jens 
from Germany. That's Beatrice in red scoring another one. There's Jens, he's scoring his first right there. But again, the perfect game is on the line. And right now, Jens is having trouble. He's not digging in and going after those balls. And 16 seconds, comes back, and Chris is grabbing another one. He's trying to get his hand on that one, having trouble, fumbling with it. But he goes back to the goal with two, and Beatrice is really filling hers up. So it's gonna be close at the end here between red and purple to see who got the lead. And as the buzzer sounds, red has two in her hands. But doesn't put them in, so very close between red and purple. We'll get the official from Mo. Mo! In first place was Christopher collecting 12 rugby balls. In second place, Beatrice collecting nine. In third place, Jens collecting one. You gotta be quick on your feet and you gotta know how to pivot and look at this Spanish twist right here. Beatrice going in there, boom. That's, I want second place points for her. The grit and determination of a perfect score champion though is right here. You watch Christopher, psycho, getting up there, knocking it in, great work. This man, first place, four events. We talked to him yesterday during practice. Here's what he had to say. They call you psycho, great nickname. How'd you come up with it? My friends at school call me it because I don't chicken out of the tackles with the big guys. Yeah, you could, you just run down the field and knock these boys down? Yeah. And uh, what happens when they uh, run after you? Well, I just stand there and dodge out of the way of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is looking nice. Let's check out the leaderboard mode. Well, Christopher from the UK is still in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Beatrice from Spain with 700 points. In third place, Jens from Germany with 600 points. All right, folks, forget Scramble. The crag's ready to rock, roll, and rumble. That mountain right there. Who's going to put the flag at the top? We'll find out. Stick around. Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Which country's player is going to get to the top of the crag first? We're about to find out. All three players have given a maximum effort so far. And while our players, our world-class athletes, get psyched to conquer the crag, let me remind you, the points have skyrocketed in this, our final event. 375 points for third place, 550 for second, 725 for first place points. Let's go to Mo, check out our leaderboard. Mo. Here it is, Mike. After four events, Christopher from the UK is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Beatrice from Spain with 700 points. In third place, Jens from Germany with 600 points. And that is a look at where they stand. Now let's take a look at how they got there. We start off with Skyball going up. Christopher putting the balls in one after the other. And that Jens getting that knocked away for him. First place points went to Chris in that one. Digging through, jamming through the elastic jungle. That is Beatrice getting up the wall climb, showing her power and force, making it through basic training. Nothing basic about it as Jens making it through the tire crawl. He rolled out of that baby and then getting up to the cargo net. Had a little bit of trouble slipping through the cargo net. It's a very difficult portion of basic training. Then he got into the pool and was trying to get onto those buoys, but the tip of his board was dipped down. The winner in this event, again, was Christopher. All the way from the United Kingdom to do a little surfing in the Gus pool, and then coming back for more in a little scrumble was Beatrice putting two in right there. Nice work for her, ladies and gentlemen. The competition, though, is about to heat up because the Extreme Arena is ready for the Super Agro Crag. First, there was the Agro Crag. Then it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now, folks, it is the Super Agro Crag. All of our players will start at Boulder Canyon. And as they make their way through the blistering blasts of venomous vapors, they will then walk their way up the mountain as they lurk their way through Avalanche Ledge. After Avalanche Ledge, they're gonna make their way up the ice wall and try to fight through that shifting sheet of snow and place their flag at the top of that crag. Let's go to Mo and check out our rules. Mo. 
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. And so, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, these people, these players, will take on our final battle the super aggro crag. Let's get it started, Mo. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, they begin their climb up through Boulder Canyon, fighting through the venomous vapor, hitting the asteroid at the nuclear flying crystals come tumbling down on top of them. A perfect game is on the line. Right there, Yance looks to be lost in blue. In purple is Christopher from the United Kingdom to the right of your screen. He has a perfect game on the line. It's going to be very close to the top. Looks like Brad missed an actuator. Chris walks in first. He's at the top from the UK. Blue comes in second. Brad missed an actuator. Had to go back down. And climbing up the ice wall. We'll lock it in third. We don't know if it's official, so we'll go to Mo. In first place on the Super Agro Crack, Christopher from the UK. In second place, Jens from Germany. In third place, Beatrice from Spain. Well, folks, you gotta love the Super Agro Crack, filled with more obstacles and newer surprises. These guys got their challenges cut out for them. You watch Beatrice trying to make it through the venomous vapors. And then it comes down to the ice wall and the sheet of snow. Look at the snow dumping on top of these guys. That's when Beatrice was told she had to go back down and Christopher coming back up. Perfect score. Let's go to Mo and the final leaderboard. Mo. Here they are, Mike, in third place today. Beatrice from Spain with 1,075 points. In second place, Jens from Germany, 1,150 points. Our winner today, Christopher from the UK, with a perfect score of 1,925 points. Three proud Global Guts athletes. The bronze medal will be received by Beatrice with 1,075 points. She came all the way from Spain to compete here on Guts. And she did a terrific job climbing the crag. From Germany is Jens. He'll get the silver. We'll get to show that back home to the folks. And you're hearing the national anthem of the United Kingdom for our perfect score winner, Christopher Psycho Bates. UK to the EA Extreme Arena. Hold up that glowing piece of our radical rock. Show the flag and show the folks of the Extreme Arena. You came here to play, you came here to win. And ladies and gentlemen, do, now it's do, time do have, for a little victory oh, lap do, do, do for our victorious do. players. These Global Guts athletes are chosen from a unique group, a stellar group of athletes, a specific group of athletes, all around their own country. They're one of the 12 best in this Global Guts competition from their country to come here and play, take on the Super Agro Crash. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. <laughs>